May the Lord bless and keep you. What if I gave you a gift and you brought this gift to your home? After a week or so, I called you, hey, the gift that I gave you for 12 hours a day, for a week, I cursed this item. I placed curses on this item for 12 hours a day, for seven days a week, I cursed this item so that it will hurt your natural and spiritual life. What if I caught you and told you that? Of course, <laughs> I would expect you to say some words back to me, of course. But the main thing that you are going to do is toss out whatever I gave you, right? No matter how much it cost, you would toss it out. Why? Because it is cursed. Why in the world would you have a cursed item? Knowing that it is cursed, why would you keep it there? You would toss it out. You may even burn it. I was messaging this woman I believe last night or early this morning, I forget. And this woman told me, Kevin, I am going to take everything out of my house. I believe that is what she said. I am going to take everything out of my home and anything that is not of God or that is going to draw demons to me I am going to trash it. And she told me that she is not going to give away those things to anyone, those things that are demonic or going to draw more demons to her. And let me speak about that. If you find out that something that you have is demonic that is not of God or that is going to draw demons why would you sell it to other people Kevin I have placed so much money into these items into these sexual demonic perverted items so I need to get some of my money back. If you know that those items are cursed and you sell them to other people, aren't you a partaker of those curses that are placed on that item? Aren't you as good as as that witch or that occult member that have placed those curses on that item. Don't you know that we are going to reap whatever we sow? So if you knowingly sell something that is cursed to just get your money back, so you are willing <laughs> to give someone something that is going to draw demons, something that is cursed, you are willing to give someone something that is cursed to try to get some of your money back. How demonic is that? How insane is that? Hey, I know this item is going to give you AIDS, but hey, I placed $1,000 into it, so I need at least half back, so let me sell it anyway. <laughs> and you are wondering why bad things are happening to you. I remember when... 
I was 20 or 21, I forget, there was this woman that I was friends with. So I went over her home and inside of her room, she had posters all over her walls, man, of these dudes that I forget what band they were from. Um, Pretty Ricky or something like that. And then she had posters of The Rock and um, Randy Orton, I believe, and some other dudes on her wall. Let me say this. Let's say that, no. <laughs> let's say, let's take a random person. Let's say Bob is in witchcraft. And this person sacrifices babies every day. Let's say, hey, I want to put Bob's posters on my wall. So Bob is in witchcraft and he, and he sacrifices babies every day. And you decide to put Bob's posters on your walls. What type of effect is that going to have in your home? Think about it. Bob is in witchcraft. So Bob has a gang of demons <laughs> and he sacrifices babies every day and you choose to put posters of Bob on your walls. Do you believe that by doing that, you are going to invite spirits of God in your home. What type of spirits are you going to invite when you place images of someone like that on your wall? It is not going to be anything nice. So, that is, from my understanding, from what I believe, that is going to draw demonic spirits. Because how can those posters draw anything good when that person is demonic? Hey, I am going to place posters of evil people on my wall to invite angels and Jesus Christ to my home. That doesn't make any sense. So the opposite would have to be true if you place people that don't serve God, that promote sin. <laughs> From my understanding, and I can't be wrong about this, it is not going to draw spirits of God. Let's say that you want to place a poster of Aleister Crowley on your wall. Let's say that you want to post a poster. I can't think of that person's name, Antoine LaVey or something like that. Let's say that you want to, that person that led that Satan church or whatever else, let's say that you want to post or place posters and their albums, not albums, but their teachings and all that stuff in your home. Kevin, I want spirits of God to come in my home. This is why I am posting or placing posters of Aleister Crowley 
and Antoine LaVey on my walls. Now, to an average thinking person, that would not make any sense because they did not want anything of God. So why would their images or their teachings attract spirits of God? Listen, man. Many people have posters of their music artist, have posters and t-shirts of their movie stars, whether it is a porn star, music artist, whomever, or famous person. You have their t-shirts, you, you have their posters, their teachings, and all that stuff there. Kevin, I don't know why I can't serve God. <laughs> Get rid of those cursed items. If what you are wearing, if what you are posting on your walls, if they are not going to draw spirits of God, why in the world do you have them up? Think about that. Why are you listening to their teachings? Why are you... Why would you, if music, if the music that you are listening to is promoting sin, why do you believe that it is not going to affect you? Kevin, I am a strong-minded person and this music can't change me. Then why are you saying that you can't stop sinning? It really doesn't take much for something to throw you off of God. If you are constantly listening and looking at things that go against God, of course, it is going to pull you away from God. So as that woman told me, Kevin, I am going to toss out things that is not of God or brings more demons to me. I am going to trash it. Well, what you need to do is do the same thing as her. You need to do the same thing as her. Trash those posters. Cursed items. We just said, and I believe that you can agree as well, by posting Aleister Crawley and Antoine LaVey posters on your walls, it is not going to draw spirits of God. So if it doesn't draw spirits of God, I would have to say, that it would have to draw other spirits, demonic spirits. Now, I can be wrong about that, but <laughs> I don't think so. Trash those posters. Get rid of them. Kevin, you know, I used to listen to them so much back when I was young. I can't live without them. Well, okay. Then stay in bondage. Stay in sin and die that way and see what happens. God, I could not live without this rap artist, so please have mercy upon me because <laughs> silly. Foolish. Go in your home House out anything that is potentially drawing in more demons in your home. Pokemon cards. You need to get rid of those things. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All these magic demonic cards. Toss them out. There is this woman that I used to speak with. 
And there are some documents that I have written about God. And I usually pass them out to people. And she was printing them out and going through what I sent her. And she sent me this email. Kevin, I have this necklace and it has this charm on there. And I want you to check it out to see if I should toss it out or not. And she sent me this picture. <laughs> now, I don't know much about witchcraft, hardly anything. Maybe some things, but not much at all. But when I saw that necklace, it screamed out to me witchcraft. <laughs> it screamed out to me witchcraft. Toss that thing out now. Do it now. Toss it out now. That thing is demonic. When you mess with, my Lord, when you mess with cursed items, why are you surprised that it is cursing you? Why are you surprised that your life is not where it should be? Why are you surprised? This is what I tell people when I find out that they are in witchcraft. Look, whatever you are doing to people, don't you know that it is going to come back upon you? So you can throw as much curses and spells at a person as you like, but sooner or later, that stuff is going to come back upon you. It has to. The law of reaping and sowing. Or sowing and reaping. Because whatever you do, it has to come back to you. This is why I try very hard to treat everyone in a good way. This is why I try very hard to not be mean to people, to not uh, do anything bad to people. And if I do anything bad to you, or if I say anything to hurt you, how can I say that? Now, when you teach a person about the word of God, it may hurt a person. But if I am saying something to you, let's say that I am having a casual conversation with you and I say something to hurt you, hey, I am going to say sorry because I don't want <laughs> anything bad to happen to me because whether I hurt that person on purpose or accident, hey, I want to say sorry and move on. I don't want any curses to come upon me for doing anyone wrong. This is why, in so many words, I walk on eggshells. I really do. Because I know what I do or say is going to come back upon me. So, since I know everything I do and say is going to come back upon me, hey, this is why I help people. Kevin, why do you care about me? I care about you because I want people to care about me. I know what I do is going to come back upon me. So the more love I show you, the more love people are going to show me. That is how it works. Even if not too many people are showing love to me now, I know that it is coming to me because I know that is the law of reaping and sowing. I give to people. I give people my time. I give people money. I give people <laughs> countless things. So many things. Why? Because I know that it is coming back to me and it is coming back to me and it has been coming to me. It have to. It have to. <laughs> this is why I am the way that I am now. I know that 
let me say this, my Lord. Some people may wonder why I am so nice or whatever else. It is no surprise. I am nice. I am not being fake. I am nice because I know what I do and say is going to come back upon me. So why am I going, why would I act evil toward a person when I know that that would curse me? I know that when you see someone that acts nice, you may say that, hey, that person is acting fake. In some cases, that is true. I agree with you. Look, you can be cautious. You really don't have to trust me. I don't really care. I am this way because I know that I am going to reap whatever I have sown. So I am nice and trying to be more nice because that stuff is coming back to me. So the way I am is not fake because I have tried being evil and being evil does not work for me. <laughs> I don't like being cursed. I tried that life before and it really doesn't work for me. It really doesn't. So I am this way. I am a loving person because I want that back. I am kind because I get that back. Whether you treat me like trash or not, I am going to be there for you. Why? Because I get that back. So my intentions is not to backstab you and take all your money and all your goods because I know if I backstab a person, <laughs> it is coming back to me. <laughs> so I am as kind as possible because I am going to get that back. The word of God is real, man. So let me stop here. So I pray that you can understand everything I have said. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.